Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Yudlad and today we'll be doing some more Magic the Gathering. I also got a webcam, which is uh, quite nice. Um, I've actually been looking at one for a while, but that is not the important part. Let's get to the important part, which is what deck we're playing. So I was talking to my friend, uh, we haven't played for a while, and he was like, oh yes, I have this perfect deck. You are going to get so slaughtered by it. It's a burn deck. So I was thinking, <clears throat> how can I make a deck that is like kind of anti-burn by uh, without having too much healing? Like, I was thinking, I don't want to just do the, you know, healing thing where I just out-heal his burn damage. So I was thinking, <clears> hmm, <throat> some... Uh, some smooth ways to try and get past that. And I've got some. So we got kind of a control deck, I guess. Not many counter spells, surprisingly. One would think we would have a lot of negates, things like this. But I think this might work. So this is a blue-white artifact deck. Um, no idea what to call it, really. But uh, we have some quenches. Wall of Lost Thought to remove key cards from his deck, hopefully. Also to block early aggro. Um, we have some Luminous Bonds. We should actually maybe exchange these for something else. <clears throat> but Luminous Bonds, it is right now. Uh, also, Aviation Pioneers, just to get more artifacts. Exclusion Mages, to re return things to his hand. This is the reason why I want to make a blue-white deck. I got the Doving Grand Arbiter, which is kind of a bad card. But I kind of wanted him to synergize in some sort of way. And I was like, okay, he can create 1-1 one -one Thopters. And I can gain, gain life. So, let's make an artifact deck with Karn. I only had two copies of him, otherwise I would have more. Probably the same for Dovin. But, we have two Karn, which his minus two is create a zero zero colorless uh, construct artifact creature token with this creature gains plus one plus one for each, artif each artifact you control. So, my plan is uh, to use Dovin to create loads of 1 1 Thopters, also the Aviation Pioneers. Um, I also have the Aerial Engineers because they kind of uh, synergize with other artifacts as well. I also have some Gearsmith Guardians because they are sick in blue, blue decks usually. Um, and then we have Cleansing Novas just for clear. Uh, but yeah, so the plan is early game, control with Wall, uh, wall of Lost Thought, Quench, try to get some AVA, uh, Aviation Pioneers out, ex Exclusion Mages to send things back to the hand. Then we, then we get out Dovin, try to get out as many 1-1 one -one Thopters as possible. Um, and uh, aerial engineers for the mid game kind of control. Sphinx of uh, New Prob is uh, like a hard target to remove. Like a lightning strike against this would actually cost four mana instead of two. So uh, that that is why they are here because they are kind of anti removal cards. Plus they're flying in vigilance, so they're a pain in the ass to handle. <clears throat> then obviously Gearsmith, Gearsmith Guardians, the same thing kind of. Um, they are hard to remove and they're 5-5s, five so... We also have two Azor the Lawbringer, which is like... I, I don't really know if he's super useful, but I kind of like the idea because he makes it so that next turn the, your opponent can't cast instant or sorcery cards, plus he can heal you whenever he attacks. So uh, that is the plan, and we're sticking to it. Now I know I have one card too many, and I'm thinking of removing one Cleansing Nova. I'm not sure that I need to. I'm not sure that I need any, to be honest. <clears throat> they are just uh, very nice uh, sweepers in case you get into like some sort of aggro matchup where you can't really control them. But uh, let's try this and we'll see how it goes. Uh, not direct challenge. Let's just do a normal quick match. So, uh, <clears throat> the plan with this deck I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit, a little bit ill, just a bit. Um, the plan with this deck is to uh, just control, try and get out artifacts. And I hope it works. Shit, that is a bad hand. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> 
He goes first, but we only have one land, so there's no point in keeping this hand. Like, we are going to mulligan it. There we go, this is a bit better. We get an Evasion Pioneer early on. <clears throat> also, the Guild Mages Forum, which is like a super useful uh, card for like buffing up the Sphinx to make it even harder to remove. Like, if I play it out with the Guild Mages Forum, uh, it becomes a 5-4, and like Lightning Strikes can't even take it down properly. <clears throat> we put it back because we really need some uh, some islands. That is way more important, so we can get out our Aviation Pioneer and Sphinx out. Let's we play this to begin with. Doesn't tell him much about our deck, so. Basically his idea is like, oh yes, this is a very multicolor deck, probably, when I'm playing a Guild Mages Forum. I agree that this <clears throat> this card is probably not that useful in this deck, except for making the Sphinx as un, like, uh, outside of the range of uh, Lightning Strikes. That is the aim of literally the only reason why the Guild Mages Forum is there. Uh, so that we can make the Sphinx as untargetable for Lightning Strike. Mm. Aviation Pioneer. Let's go. Thopter. <clears throat> we need one more blue mana. Or do we? Yeah, yeah. We need one more mana in general. Um, with this, we can actually turn it turn it into blue mana. So we just need one more land, and we can play the Sphinx, which is very nice. Also, the Gearsmith Guardian with the Aviation Pioneer it's super worth the play because he'll just become a five five for five, which is kind of a good creature to begin with. Hmm. Now, will he attack? I would attack. Interesting. So we. Uh... We could Luminous Bonds, not really a point to it though. <clears throat> so I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just chill. Right now, do we want to swing with the Thopter? I think we want to swing with the Thopter just to get some early damage in. Because it won't matter, like, he is obviously a... Uh, a... Uh, sapling deck, or sapperling deck. So... Uh, I'm just assuming that he'll be uh, spamming out small one ones. Oh crap, that's a poison tip archer. Those are not usually in that deck. So, it's his own take. I like it. I like it. Wait, kid. Yeah. What? Why? He could have killed my. Okay. I'm not going to question him. Create one white and play out the Sphinx. <coughs> Boom. Thopter, go! God damn it, I forgot about that. Well, that was just stupid of me. He has reach. I guess Luminous Bonds, here we go. Poison Tip Archer. Ooh. That's a lot of Sapperlings. I'm still a bit surprised that he hasn't played any. Um, <clears throat> that he hasn't played the. Uh, or attacked any. Like he should have. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like he should have attacked with the 2 3. Because, yeah, I could have blocked it, but would it have mattered? Uh, that, that's kind of okay. We got his Death Bloom Talid. Talid. Oh, so that's good. Boom. And let's attack. Now the Wall of Lost Thoughts, the only reason why I really added it, <clears throat> is because I used to have those, um, I don't really remember the name of them, they're they're one twos, but if you have an artifact, they're two twos. The problem is, this isn't really an aggro deck. This is kind of a 
survive until you can fuck them over with artifact stake. That's why I thought that the Wall of Lost Thoughts is a bit better because you can remove some victory conditions, some strong cards, <clears throat> while also. Uh... Ooh, that was. Wait, what? Oh, right, it, the kickers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now it makes sense. <clears throat> okay. Gearsmith Guardian. Let's go. No attackers. This is not good. The build-up on his sapperlings is not good for me. But at least that's the only thing he's pulling, so let's do a Chemister's Insights. Hopefully we draw something very useful. That is actually quite useful. <laughs> that is actually a very useful spell. Um, well, there's no point in casting Luminous Bonds. We have nothing to cast it on. So I guess we'll, we'll just go. Like, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to attack with the Gearsmith Guardian. He could kill it, but he had he would have to sacrifice so much to be able to kill it. Since the poison tip archer are bonded. Costly plunder. That's okay. I'm not that worried about taking some minor damage from from the poison tip archer. Since we also we ha have Azor for healing. Like next turn we'll play it, he won't be able to remove him, then we can attack and uh, yeah, we'll gain life. And draw cards. So, uh... I, I feel quite safe with this. Okay. Let's add... The white man. There we go. Boom. 7-7. Seven, seven. Boy! No point really in attacking. We could, but there's not really a point. He could quite easily kill it with the Thalid Omnivore um, if he would attack and I would block, but I probably won't block with Azor. I'll probably block with uh, the Aviation Pioneer just to chomp him. He doesn't have trample anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is going surprisingly well with this deck. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm a bit afraid though, he has a lot of mana up. I guess we'll see. Hell yeah. So, one, two. Do five, heal us a bit and draw some cards. Oh, I could have done one more. Oh, well. Fuck it. Boom. Here we go. Exclusion Mage is up the wazoo. I mean, he has been very unlucky. He hasn't pulled any buffs for his sapperlings. I gotta say, like he should have at least one of the, yeah, you know, one of the ones that buffs it to a uh, two twos gives plus one plus one to every sapperling or every like fungus, I guess. What do they buff actually? Do they buff fungus or just sapperlings? I have no idea. I don't think he has anything that can handle Azor right now. Otherwise he would have played like a poison tipped archer, anything like that already. So I 
I don't think he can kill Azor. I think he should have been more aggressive in the early game. Like attacking with the Doom to center on the first uh, first turn would have been a good play. Either getting some extra damage, just free damage basically, or uh, me killing it and him getting a 2-2 that he can pressure me with. He is really thinking hard about this. Migration. Hmm. I'm assuming he doesn't have a card that can do anything about, about it. Sneak it. that we don't need any more cards right now um, just to be sure that he gets killed there we go I kind of like the idea of this deck that I've made um, like it being a kind of ground control -y and then you have flyers to do the real damage. That is, I feel like that is a very good, uh, very good kind of combo. Like it, it really works. Um, at least so far. Like obviously this wasn't really the best way to try it out. Um, but I tried it like a couple of times beforehand. Um, now at that point we didn't have the wall of us thought obviously. But otherwise, yeah, I think it works. I'm worried that he has some sort of buff in his hand, but it won't really matter because I'll be able to block enough creatures so that he can't really do any damage. Oh. Did you look at that? Uh, that was... He should have used that on himself. He should have easily used that on, on himself. Wouldn't have mattered, probably, because he can't kill all my flyers, but I think that would have been the correct choice. Right now, damage isn't really his. Shouldn't be his focus. Um, let's see. We can let two damage through. Or, well, obviously he doesn't have any cards in his hand, so this should be the play, actually. And sack one more won't matter. Kinda close, not enough though. I actually got like some really good draws this time with this deck. And this deck I don't feel like it is as powerful as 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 I'm I'm thinking that it is. Like I felt very powerful in the game, but I don't think it is that powerful. You know what I mean? Anyway, 
I think that was kind of an okay test run. Now I just have my friend to beat with it. Uh, he's quite good at building decks, so I'm expecting to lose. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you want some more uh, Magic the Gathering content, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.